Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're looking at scheduled charging in three different ways. The in-car scheduler, the wall box scheduler and using uh, the Apple shortcuts which are now available. Okay, before we look at scheduling itself, if you just plug the car in with nothing set, the car will just start charging which is what you'd expect it to do. The next option is to effectively set the start charge or to effectively delay the start of charging until a given time. And to do this, you can basically set the scheduled start time, simple as that. And you can also do this through the Tesla app. You may have noticed preconditioning mentioned in a few places. And for now, just completely forget about that because it doesn't actually affect charging at all. There's a second option which Tesla give when it comes to scheduling charging, which gets confused slightly with preconditioning. Essentially what Tesla give the ability to do is say when off peak charging finishes and it will then work out how much charge it needs to put into the car and how long that's going to take based on your current state of charge and your target state of charge and then work out when to start charging to have used um, the off peak window finishing you know around the time your off peak charging finishes. Um, unfortunately, you need to set two things when you do this. One, when the off-peak charging finishes, but also a time when you want to have the car ready by or when you depart. What the car then does is works backwards based on those information. So if you want to depart before the off-peak scheduling is finished, then it will start the charging slightly earlier so the car is charged to your desired state of charge for when you leave and not when the off-peak finishes um, so make sure you've always got the right amount of energy in your car. So what the video has been showing is essentially that as you change the target state of charge that's going to affect how long the car needs to charge for and therefore the car may start charging or stop charging depending on you know available time. It won't necessarily charge straight away because it doesn't know or have a concept of when off-peak starts it only knows when it's due to finish. And you can't combine the start charge and the end charge to try and define a window. It's one or the other. And these things can also be set by the by the app using very similar commands. Okay, now a word about preconditioning. You can set preconditioning whether you have a scheduled charge, start or end, or any of the options, you can set preconditioning. And essentially all this is going to do is heat up your cabin for when you leave. Um, where it gets confusing is you setting the departure time in the same way you set the departure time for the off-peak scheduled charging. Um, yeah, that's why it's confusing, but that's what it is. Just like the other settings, you can set the preconditioning through the app uh, in the same way as you could in the car. So that's pretty much all the options in the car. The Tesla wall charger works completely differently in a way. You can log into it via the app if you've got it registered. And essentially you can set a window when the charger will be active so this could be for off-peak charging where you know it's from say midnight till 4 a.m or it could be just as a security measure where you don't want people to use it during the day but essentially you just set an allow and a stop charging window and the car will only charge during those times whatever any other setting is set and these things are additive. Setting the car to start charging at 10, but the wall box to only allow charging from 11 means the car will only charge from 11. Okay, if you don't like the uh, in-car charging control options and you haven't got a Tesla wall box, there is a third way that Tesla allow you to schedule charging, or kind of. And that's to use the shortcuts or create Apple shortcuts. Um, so to do that, if you have an iOS device, I'm sure Android has an equivalent, create a new shortcut. Um, name it what you want to so in this case I think it's start charge um, go to the Tesla application pick the option fill in the boxes so start and the name of the car so if you have more than one car here it will give the option for different cars and then you can create your shortcut and then you can either run that manually or what we suggest is you create an automation so you create an automation you simply say a time of day when you want it to run and this could be linked to other things when your alarm clock goes off when whatever uh, and essentially you just say you want to run the shortcut that you've created at that time and you could create another one to stop charge 
um, and this gives you an ability to use your iPhone effectively as a scheduler. So in total there are three different ways to control scheduling the car. There's the in-car scheduler which is really primarily best for start times I think um, and maybe preconditioning to make sure the car's toasty when you leave. The wall charger where you can set a start and end window um, which might be also for security purposes and then effectively using your iOS device or Android device as a means of and using the features of that to control the start and stop and you could combine that with other things and it's probably easier to do um, than some of the other options so there are three options all natively supported by tesla hope you enjoy